A federal court addressed an attempt to ban lead ammunition in a national forest, and the decision was unanimous too. If you are not a member of this channel, then hit that subscribe button down below because I will keep you in the loop. There's something like 42% of the people who view my videos that don't subscribe, fix that. Subscribe to the channel, stay in the know, hit the like button, the share button, and turn the bell notification on to all notifications. All right, let's get into this case because I think this is really big. I've been talking about this case for a very long time, almost the entire life of this channel. It's gone through this the court system several different times, uh, through several different administrations, and Friday, hopefully, there was a nail put in this one. Uh, but a federal court rejected a long-fought effort by environmental groups to force a ban on lead ammo in a national forest, providing a key win for hunters, the NRA, and the United States Forest Service. Yes, the NRA was a big part of this. In the 25-page decision, a three-judge panel in the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals rejected a bid by the Arizona-based Center for Biological Diversity. Uh, they, they wanted to order the Forest Service uh, to ban the use of lead ammunition in the, and I'm going to screw this up, the Kaibab, K-A-I-B-A-B, -A -B, the Kaibab, Kaibab, Kabib, Kabuba, Kaboodles, the National Forest. <laughs> it's in Arizona, and it's, uh, it joins the, the Grand Canyon, and it's a very popular destination for big game hunting. Uh, check this out. Here's the, uh, the lawsuit itself. You can see that it's the Center for Biological Diversity, the Sierra Club, Grand Canyon Wildlands Council versus the U.S. Forest Service and the National Rifle Association of America, the Safari Club International, and the National Shooting Sports Foundation. Real quick from the summary, the panel affirmed the district court's dismissal for failure to state a claim of an action brought by the Center for Biological Diversity and others, collectively CBD alleging that the United States Forest Service was liable as a contributor under the Resource Conservation and Recovery Act by failing to regulate the use of lead ammunition by hunters in the that Kebab National Forest in Arizona. The Kebab is owned by the United States and managed by the Forest Service. Although the Forest Service has broad authority to regulate hunting and fishing activities, it rarely exercises its authority to preempt state laws related to hunting and fishing. Hunting activities are primarily regulated by the state of Arizona. CBD argued that even though the Forest Service activity was not the direct source of any lead ammunition in the Khabib, the Forest Service was liable as a contributor under the RCRA by virtue of A, its general regulatory authority over the kebab, B, the control it is exercised by issuing special use permits for outfitters and guides, and C, its status as an owner of the kebab. The panel held that A, the Forest Service's choice not to regulate, despite having the authority to do so, does not manifest the type of actual active control contemplated by the RCRA. B, although the Forest Service has the authority to further regulate special use permits, it has not done so, and RCRA does not impose a duty on the Forest Service to do so. And C, mere ownership is insufficient to establish contributor liability under the RCRA. Now, this group was pushing to force a ban of lead bullets used by hunters and sometimes, sometimes, ingested by condors and other birds when eating the guts of animals left behind after they were field dressed. If they got shot in the guts, right? Now, this has been going on, like I said, for a very long time, 11 years. And this case was also seen as a test by anti-gun uh, by anti-gun and anti-hunting groups to regulate ammunition. And this is a big loss by them. Now, Michael Jean, or Jean, uh, who's the director of the Office of Litigation Council with the Institute for Legislative Action, that's the NRA ILA, which is their uh, lobbying arm. He said, this NRA victory is a significant setback for gun control and anti-hunting advocates who see ammo bans as a pivotal leap in their agenda. Now, I mentioned that uh, this group alleges that uh, lead ammunition has been found to be a contributing factor to the deaths of condors and other scavenger birds 
when they feast on the remains left over. But those birds also get hit by cars on roads near the national forests all over the country. So are they looking to ban cars? They're not. They're just looking to come after ammunition and hunting and guns, etc. Now, hopefully this wakes up the hunters and gets them involved in the fight. Uh, but the, the government, I had to check this out, the Khabib, Khabib, the Beef Kebab <laughs> National Forest is 1.6 million acres. And uh, they mostly defer, the, the Forest Service, they defer to Arizona, like I said earlier. And Arizona, while it doesn't ban lead ammunition by hunters, it does push and recommend the use of alternative ammo and they make it available as well. And from what I've read a few things, a lot of the hunters in the beef kebab forest, <laughs> they've uh, largely shifted to that alternative ammo in that forest. Now, by not banning lead ammunition, uh, the center, they argued that the federal government is contributing to the deaths of these birds. And thank God the, you know, the, the court rejected that. So we will see what happens with this case. This was a unanimous decision by a three-judge panel in the Ninth Circuit. The crazy uh, circus out there, the Ninth Circuit. Uh, but if this gets uh, appealed for an en banc review, I will keep you in the loop as long as you're a subscriber to this channel. Because when you subscribe and hit that bell notification, turn it on to all notifications, YouTube will tell you when I put out new content or go live. And uh, if you want to stay in the know, that's one of the best ways to do it. So subscribe to the channel down below. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your time. If you're a hunter in the Lamb Kebab National Forest, <laughs> let us know if you have any first-hand knowledge on this down in the comments. And I look forward to reading them. Have a phenomenal day, everybody. If you're above ground, you're on the right side of the grass. It is a great day. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.